This may be a fairly controversial opinion, let me know if you think it's not, but with all of these videos floating around of Quake 2 that's been fully ray traced, it's actually gotten me really excited about ray tracing, because it's finally found its purpose, which is making old games look more beautiful. I mean, just imagine it, a ray traced Skyrim. They're probably gonna charge us for it though. Now before we get any further into the video, let's talk about what's gotten me all hot and bothered. Now for the last couple of days or so, people have been uploading videos of them playing a fully ray traced version of Quake 2. Now one of the best examples of this is by a channel called UFD Tech. I'm sure you're all subscribed to them already, but I'll have the video linked in the description below and you can go check it out. And I recommend checking it out if you haven't seen it before carrying on this video, just so that you can see the example of what the game looks like without ray tracing and with ray tracing. Now obviously considering the fact that it's a 20 year old game all the textures still look like it's from a 20 year old game but the lighting looks significantly better and it makes a huge difference in the visual appealingness of the game. Now this is freely available so you can download it I'll have it also linked in the description below so if you have an RTX graphics card you can play this version and see it for yourself and so on. Now getting back to the UFD tech video what they did is they actually kind of tested it in two configurations to show how much of a performance impact it actually has on your system and unfortunately the news isn't amazing in RTX 2060 you're getting plus minus 60 frames per second at 1080p which is not amazing considering the fact that it's a 20 year old game but do bear in mind that this is fully ray traced so the entire scene is generated with ray tracing uh, and then when you go up to 1440p with the RTX 2060 you're only getting around 30 frames per second which is really bad when they moved up to the RTX 2080 Ti at 1440p they were getting plus minus 60 frames per second and it dipped down to 40 frames per second in like really heavy loads with like a bunch of explosions and stuff but the good news is at 1080p they were getting about 90 frames per second but again 90 frames per second from a thousand two hundred dollar graphics card at 1080p is not amazing especially considering the fact that the game is so old now there are a couple of reasons why i'm not too worried about the massive performance hit one is that the game is fully ray traced so it's not like with battlefield 5 where they kind of like supplement the normal lighting with ray tracing uh, to just kind of like make the reflections look all pretty the entire scene is generated via ray tracing so maybe if they play around with like which parts of the scene is like more heavily ray traced and so on they could actually bring down the performance hit like they did in a patch with Battlefield 5 which improved performance quite a bit although not enough at all but this is all still very early days now with all of the contextual information out of the way let's keep a couple of things in mind before we get too bleary-eyed and excited about this new technology which I kind of think that ship has already sailed for me but the first is you do need RTX hardware to do ray tracing on any of these older titles and that is expensive and then there's the second point which is a massive performance hit even with this expensive hardware that you have to buy for it and that's not ideal and then the third issue is that we don't know what older games are going to have ray tracing implemented at this point yes quake 2 has done it but like there's no guarantee that we're going to get a ray traced version of skyrim or of any other game and on that note actually comment in the video below uh, what games you would love to see a ray traced version of i'm holding out for skyrim and any old like rts game so like command and conquer might benefit from that with like beautiful explosions and stuff now i know you're probably sitting there going but david we have no indication on whether or not any of these older games are actually going to have a ray traced version released now there are two reasons why i think it is actually fairly likely that we'll be seeing more of this kind of thing happening now the first one is during the release of the rtx graphics cards nvidia explicitly said that game developers can send them their video games and then nvidia will make a ray tracing version of that code for free editing david here now i can't find the actual source that states that nvidia is actually willing to do it for free for developers i'm 100 percent sure i read this somewhere but even if it isn't the case nvidia should definitely offer it for free because it's going to be a great reason for people to actually have their games remade then they're going to have a bigger library of games which is more of a convincing reason for people to buy rtx graphics cards so nvidia if you're listening 
think about it. And apparently the actual implementation isn't that difficult to do according to the developer's notes on NVIDIA's website, but I don't know how accurate those are. And they're also available for free. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So it means developers don't have to pay for the ray tracifying of their video games and that means that we might not have to pay for the end product. Although we do know that these developers are super greedy and they might charge us for it anyway. And the second reason I think that it's more likely that we're going to be seeing more ray traced version of older games is that this Quake 2 demo has gotten people super excited. It's been the first genuinely positive response I've seen to anything related to ray tracing that isn't some massively like abstract Star Wars demo in an NVIDIA press release. This is code that you can genuinely download yourself and you can try it out for yourself to see whether or not it works for you and how you feel about it. And honestly, the results so far have been awesome. So why would game developers not use this opportunity to generate more hype around their older games? And with that, I think it's time for my conclusion. I honestly think that this is really exciting. I know that there are a bunch of caveats, like we don't know whether or not a lot of games are going to buy into this tech, although it seems likely. The hardware is expensive and there's a huge frame rate hit. But honestly, this has been the best reason I've seen for ray tracing and buying into this new technology. And honestly, I haven't seen any before this. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of this Quake 2 demo, whether or not it's gotten you more excited about the possibility of a bunch of older ray traced games. And yes, if you like this video, do like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And until the next video, bye bye.